so this is the thing like china in theory they are in the most prime position to build a super ai they've got one state actor that basically has that basically has the largest surveillance network in the world they've got so much data categorized and organized prime for training ai and yet they've absolutely squandered that because they don't really have the, the chinese system doesn't really encourage researchers to use to, to spend all their life researching this stuff you know you have if you've read all these ai papers haven't you noticed that a lot of the top authors are actually from chinese researchers the chinese yeah, people moved to the us and bam they become like instant success for ai researchers but in china they don't really have as good things yeah and th there's two things that's the problem right one of them is the systematic research institution system right they, they, there's, there's no incentive to spend your life's work researching ai and second um is, is sanctions you know um it's smuggling nvidia gpus into china right now is very very lucrative business but that means china mm. just like the average chinese citizen doesn't have access to these clusters of gpu power that the average person in say us does um and that holds them as back. a pr as a, as a pr um uh, production of AI models for that they've made open source has been quite good. Yeah, um, they've done more than uh, I think Europe in general has done. Um, and other than the United States, I think they've been they've been dumping products out in the market like fairly often. Alibaba has produced stuff. Do stuff i don't know if they're the same company but mm. there's been a lot of actual yeah. cool stuff coming out of china mm. i think they're being hindered of course um by the american system mm. where they don't want them to have it and i think rightly so like as in i wouldn't want anybody else to have it if if europe was buying too many cards and i was in the united states i'd try to stop them doing it yeah this is such a powerful tool that's coming out mm. that you have to try and be number one mm. <laughs> you know i don't I, I don't i wouldn't stop any country trying to stop the other countries from getting it or, yeah, yeah i mean like china i think this is what china's invested billions and billions of dollars trying to make their own chips and unfortunately they just they just they just can't get it to a level that's competitive yeah um, yeah not yet yeah and i and and given the way things are currently it's just easier for them to just let tsmc do it um yeah but I can see sanctions becoming more of a thing, right? And then they'll have no choice but to 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 to, to make a better chip building facility. Yeah, but that's that's I think that's just currently the way things are going. Depending on how the technology, like quantum technology, works out, how their light wave technology works out for the same kind of that you want to produce mm. who knows what the next five years are going to be ne maybe the next greatest technology is actually going to come out of china for when it comes to actually making these ai chips maybe they'll find another way to copy it maybe they'll make their own version yeah. um i don't think any country owns the future yeah. by default like yeah. I i'm looking forward to and, seeing and what comes i sure out. hope not right i don't yeah. want to see one country with a super powerful ai and then now all the other countries are now you know basically under its wrath you need it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's like the nuclear bomb moment right as soon as one new yeah. country makes a nuclear bomb you need another country makes a nuclear bomb and now they're both too afraid to use it it's mad mutually assured destruction yes yes it's, it's i don't know how ai could ensure destruction I, I i don't really see how that equates but i can imagine that owning super powerful ai is essentially the same thing i 100 percent agree <laughs> uh, and i think it's a necessity Hmm. And I, that's that's the kind of thing I want to see happening everywhere. And um, at the time, it is kind of inevitable, hmm. but there will be AI fighting wars for us in the future. Hmm. It's already started happening.